rainbows and welcome to today's video. Today's video is super special because it is to celebrate hitting 20,000 subscribers on YouTube, which I just honestly can't believe. It's been two years since I uploaded the first episode of The Royal Family and I never thought it would turn into what it is today. But for this video, I have come up with 60 facts and secrets about my Royal Family characters and about the series. Some of these are just really random facts and some of the secrets are pretty big and fairly important. Most of these were just a lot of questions that I get asked. I asked you guys on the streams what you wanted to know. I asked you guys on my Instagram story what you guys wanted to know. As of this video in the series, we are currently on season two, episode 54. So that was just released a few days ago. I highly recommend not watching this video if you are not caught up because there are some major spoilers in this video. So just wanna give you guys that warning. So if you are intrigued or excited or both, make sure you hit that like button and let's go ahead and begin. Before we begin, just a heads up, you guys are gonna see some pictures of Brindle Brindleton Bay here. Brindleton Bay actually has a newly renovated palace, which I have not shown you all yet. So I will be showing you guys that in the next episode of The Royal Family, which would be season two, episode 55. But let's go ahead and start. So fact number one, the late Prince Consort Philip's favorite kind of flowers were sunflowers, which is why you can find many sunflowers planted in front of the Oasis Springs Palace. And which is also why Gabriel chose to have sunflowers planted for his proposal to Arya so she would feel like part of her dad was there for their special moment. Number two, it is a tradition for the royal family of Kinshing to learn Wushu. So Han, Tai, and Akio all learned growing up. Tai is already teaching Wushu to her son Shen, and Han and Akio plan to teach their kids as well. Number three, I've mentioned before that the age for the start of my young adult life stage in my series is 21. For the ages of the other life stages, child is ages six through 13, teen is ages 14 through 20, young adult is ages 21 through 35, adult is ages 36 through 59, and elder starts at age 60. My toddler lifespan was ages one through five, but since I found the toddler preset by Redhead Sims, which I showed you guys in the last episode, I think I'll just be aging the babies up into toddlers and then using the preset to make them look more like infants. Fact number four, Anya was always jealous of Araminta growing up, even as a toddler. However, she didn't openly show her hatred towards her till they were six years old when their parents yelled at Anya for telling people she was the heir. Since then, Anya constantly bullied and tormented Araminta throughout the rest of their childhood. Number five, Araminta knows the most languages out of all the characters. She would teach herself these languages as a kid whenever her parents were fighting or when Anya was bullying her. She knows 12 languages, English, Mandarin, Cantonese, Japanese, Korean, Taiwanese, Vietnamese, Thai, French, Spanish, American Sign Language, and Chinese Sign Language. Just some information for those who don't know, Mandarin and Cantonese are different spoken forms or different dialects of the Chinese language. These two languages are distinctly different when spoken, so Mandarin and Cantonese speakers cannot typically understand each other. However, Mandarin and Cantonese are nearly written the same way with the same base characters, and Chinese Sign Language is the same for both as well. Taiwanese is just a variant of the standard Mandarin. It is spoken differently, but written the same. Fact number six, this necklace that you see Amira frequently wear was her mother, Queen Alice's. King Henry gave the necklace to Amira after May died to remind her that her mother and May would always be with her. Number seven, Prince Charles, Prince Takashi, Princess Arya, and Anya are all left-handed. King Henry IV was ambidextrous, meaning he could use both his right and left hand. Number eight, Every kingdom is required to learn English. This is the main language the royals, nobles, and other characters use to communicate with each other. Number nine, most of the kingdoms have their own official language or languages besides English. Willow Creeks is French, Guangxi's is Mandarin, but Japanese and Vietnamese are common languages spoken in the kingdom. King Xi's official languages are Cantonese and Japanese, but Mandarin and Korean are commonly spoken in the kingdom. Salvadoradas are Swahili and Arabic. Oasis Springs are Hindi and Arabic. Sulani's is Hawaiian. Brindleton Bays are Spanish and Portuguese. And the only official language of Windenburg is English, but many of the kingdom's residents and the royal family speak Welsh and German. Fact number 10, Princess Aisha and Anya are both aromantic, 
which means they have no interest or desire for romantic relationships. Anya is also asexual, which means she does not experience sexual feelings or associations. Number 11. Ellis's father, Eric Mayfield, died in a car crash when Ellis was five years old. Number 12. Prince Consort Philip's father, Christian McWilliams, died in a car crash when Philip was nine months old. Number 13. Jessica is very outgoing and a bit mischievous, but these are some of the many reasons why Prince Frederick has a big crush on her. Frederick tends to be a little shy, but he feels like he can really open up and be himself around Jessica. Number 14. Makai is a really good singer and he can also play the ukulele. Number 15. The arm bracelets? The armbands? The arm jewelry that Arya frequently wears were gifts from her parents and grandmother Lindsay. Dowager Queen Lindsay gave Arya her first one for her 14th birthday, and Arya loved the style so much that Lindsay bought her different color variations from the same jeweler, and Naya and Philip bought her a similar one for her 15th birthday. Number 16. Prince Manuel of Oasis Springs and Prince Takashi of Guangxi are best friends, and they usually play video games together when they hang out. Number 17. Princess Arya is almost exactly like her mother, Queen Nea, was when she was a teenager. The only difference is that Nea didn't have any siblings like Aisha, who challenged her all the time. All of Nea's siblings usually let her boss them around. Number 18. Alice May's nickname is A.M. Number 19. Gabriel started kickboxing to help with his anger management after he got in trouble with Nea and Philip for fighting Cornelius. Han, Mackay, and Bellatrix also do kickboxing. Number 20. Amira wasn't very excited about Evangeline when she first met her, mostly because of how close in age Ava was to Amira. But Amira chose to be civil with Ava since she seemed to make her dad happy. Amira grew much closer to Ava after May's death since Ava was there to comfort her a lot when she was in mourning. Now they are very close. Number 21. William, A.M., and Cedric all call Ava Grandmama. Number 22. Charles is the only one that calls Era Minta Minty. It started when they were 12 years old and hanging out outside of the Windenburg Palace together. Charles asked if she had any nicknames since Era Minta was a long name and she said she didn't. Charles started joking that maybe he should call her Minty and it ended up sticking. Number 23. Kimmy is secretly a little nervous about becoming a mermaid, but she doesn't like to talk to Makana about it because she doesn't want him to think she is pressuring him to get married. Number 24. Samaria thought about breaking up with Bellatrix right before she left for Strangerville because she was scared to do a long-distance relationship. But her mother, Leilana, convinced her to try the long-distance relationship, and Samaria is glad she listened to her mother because now Samaria and Bellatrix are engaged. Number 25. Prince Elon has always wanted a little sister that he could spoil and be a protective brother to, so he was pretty happy when Sissy joined their family. Adric was a little more focused on being upset that his dad had an affair, but Sissy has grown on him. Number 26. Nea was the only one of Lindsay and Adrian's kids that was close with her father, and she took his death the hardest. However, she knew that she had to stay strong since she was now the queen. Number 27. Lindsay didn't tell Nea about Adrian's affairs and the fact that Charlotte is her half-sister until after the incident with Nea's kidnapping. Since Nea was close with her father, she took the news pretty hard. Number 28. Since Amira had such a bad experience with her arranged marriage to Johan, she refuses to put Alice May and Cedric in an arranged marriage. She will probably discourage it for her future grandkids as well. Number 29. Han, Tai, and Akio's mother's name was Empress Nori. She was kind, patient, and very optimistic. Her favorite place was the Lotus Garden, which is also Han's favorite place and where he proposed to Araminta. However, Han did not know this was his mother's favorite place until his father, Emperor Li Wei, told him after he proposed. Number 30. On Amira and Jabari's wedding day, Makai almost admitted to Amira that he still loved her right before she left for the ceremony, but he saw how happy she was and decided not to. Number 31. Genevieve loves to read Jane Austen novels. Her favorite book is Persuasion. Number 32. Caspian's mother, Nia, was born and raised in Salvadorada. She moved to Sulani to attend university, and she double majored in communications and philosophy. After she graduated is when she met Caspian's father, Maleko, who was born and raised in Sulani. Number 33. In season two, episode 53, we learned that Caspian's father, Maleko, had two affairs while married to Nia. The first affair was actually with Izara, Prince Jabari's ex fiance and Sissy's mother. However, Maleko was not the man that Izara had cheated on Jabari with when they were engaged. Jabari and Izara 
Zara were already broken up when she met Maleko. Number 34. I mentioned in that same episode that Maleko's second affair was with one of his company's clients. Her name is Caitlin Rivera, and she and Maleko recently started seeing each other again. However, Nia and Caspian do not know this yet. Number 35. After the incident with the Sage of Mischief Magic from my Realm of Magic miniseries, Emperor Zhao and the other sages agreed to close the portal to the magical realm to avoid any future dangers that might occur. Number 36. Araminta knows about the magical realm, but Han does not. Number 37. Queen Corinne is no longer a spellcaster. Number 38. Juliet is best friends with her twin sister, Elena, and she considers Aisha as one of her best friends too, but she doesn't agree with all of the things that Elena and Aisha do. However, she never says anything about it and usually just lets them do what they want. Number 39. This pendant that Arya wears was a present from Gabriel for Arya's 14th birthday. Although they weren't officially dating at the time, Gabriel had a huge crush on her and their parents had already started discussing their possible arranged marriage. This was also before he got in trouble for fighting Cornelius. Number 40. When Anya and Araminta were 10 years old, Anya tried to push Araminta in front of a moving car on the street. The car swerved and Araminta was fine, but Takashi saw it and told his parents. Emperor Zhao and Empress Mei Lin yelled at Anya for it, and they would have sent her to boarding school if it weren't for Araminta, who told them she was convinced that Anya didn't see the car coming. Anya never liked Takashi after she found out he routed her out. Number 41. Even though Anya didn't like Takashi after the incident, she didn't torment him like she did with Araminta. She didn't see Takashi as a threat, so she mostly left him alone and would just make snide remarks to him every once in a while, but mostly they had a distant relationship. Number 42. The real first king and queen of Windenburg was King Henry I and Queen Caroline. They became the rulers after King Henry and his army destroyed the former town and established the kingdom of Windenburg. Number 43. King Henry I and Queen Caroline of Windenburg did not have any kids together. Number 44. Ravenna was a young woman who lived in the town destroyed by Henry, and her entire family was killed. She came across Forgotten Hollow, where she met a vampire who agreed to turn her and give her the power she needed to get revenge. Ravenna then became a vampire and killed Queen Caroline and made it look like she drowned in the ocean during a storm. Then Ravenna married King Henry and became the new Queen of Windenburg. Number 45. Ravenna gave birth to four children. The first child they had was a girl named Reyna. She inherited her mother's vampire genes and couldn't hide her vampire form as a baby. No one else knew that Queen Ravenna was a vampire, so she used her powers to kill Reyna and made it look like she died from an illness. Later, Ravenna gave birth to Henry, Belle, and Derek. None of them inherited her vampire genes. Number 46. I've mentioned in a previous episode that Amira, Evangeline, and Diana all helped to create a foundation under King Henry IV's name that advocates for the elderly and the disabled. But what you might not know is that King Henry IV created a foundation under Princess May's name after she died that advocates and promotes awareness for lung disease. Many of the royals and nobles have donated to both foundations, including King Johan and Queen Sadira, who donate to May's foundation every year on her birthday. Number 47. Han didn't think he could love anyone more than he loves Araminta until he saw his daughter Zayori for the first time. Number 48. Amira is a very talented piano player, and since Amira was Diana's role model growing up, Diana wanted to learn piano too. Amira and Diana would often bond by playing piano together. Number 49. Diana never told Amira about her crush on Makai growing up. She thinks that since it was just a silly crush, it would be pointless to tell her and possibly upset her. Although to be honest, I don't think Amira would care at this point. Number 50. Queen Leilana is Queen Nea's best friend, and Prince Dean was Prince Philip's best friend. Leilana and Dean have made sure to be there for Nea through her entire mourning process after Philip's death. Number 51. As some of you might know, Harmony's brother was Prince Dean of Sulani and her sister was Countess Ari, which is Lord Gabriel's mother. Countess Ari and Prince Dean both disowned Harmony as their sister after she tried to kidnap Queen Nea. Number 52. Charlotte's target when she had set the Oasis Springs Palace on fire was mainly Queen Nea and all four of the royal kids. Ironically, Prince Philip was not her intended target, yet he was the one who died in the fire. Number 53. Charlotte's next planned target after the Oasis Springs royal family was going to be her uncle, Prince Dean, and her aunt, Countess Ari. She wanted to get revenge for her mother since they didn't help and let her mother die in prison. 
Number 54, there is a photo of toddler Cedric in a Winterfest tree outfit in one of the Windenburg Palace sitting rooms, and Cedric gets embarrassed every time his parents show it to someone. Number 55, the richest kingdoms in order from most wealthy to least wealthy. Number one, Windenburg. Number two, Oasis Springs. Number three, Selva Dorada. Number four, Willow Creek. Number five, Guangxi. Number six, Brindleton Bay. Number seven, Sulani. And number eight, Kinshing. Number 56, Prince Cornelius first realized he had a crush on Ellis when he saw a girl flirting with him at a party and he got jealous. However, Ellis knew that he had a crush on Cornelius only a few weeks after they first met each other. Number 57, Lord Gabriel's little sister is Lady Minerva, or Minnie for short. She is three years younger than him, and Gabriel and Minnie are extremely close, and Gabriel is very protective of her. Since Arya knows how much Minnie means to Gabriel, she always goes out of her way to make sure Minnie feels included at every event, which just makes Gabriel love Arya even more. Number 58. A.M., Jessica, and Molly Grace started taking dance classes together several years ago. However, Jessica quit after a few months since it wasn't really something she was interested in. Alice May has started losing interest in dance recently because she wants to focus on her responsibilities as heir. Molly Grace loves dance and intends to keep taking classes. Number 59. Besides Charlotte, none of King Adrian's other illegitimate children know that they are King Adrian's kids, and no one else knows either. Only their mothers knew, and they have both passed away. If you remember, Adrian had twins with Duchess Blair, Lord Benjamin, and Lady Cara. Lord Benjamin is married to Lord Aaron, and they live in the suburbs of Oasis Springs. And their daughter, Lady Cara, married Lord Lucas, and they are the future Baron and Baroness of Willow Creek. Adrian and Duchess Jillian's daughter, Isadora, married Lord Nathaniel of Brindleton Bay, which is actually Queen Corinne's youngest brother. Now Isadora is the Duchess of Willow Creek. Her and Lord Nathaniel have a girl named Lady Cassidy. And finally, number 60, the truth behind Princess May's death. During her cousins, Louis, Jack, and Belle's birthday party, May had gone outside with her drink to get some fresh air. Johan came outside to check on her, and they went on a walk in the palace gardens, and she left her drink. As you know, Makai's mother, Ali'i, was very against Makai and Amira being together. She thought that if she could break Prince Johan and Princess May up, Amira would have to break up with Makai to marry Johan. Ali'i came up with a plan to slip something in Princess May's drink to make her hallucinate and go crazy enough to embarrass herself at the party, so King Jared, Prince Johan's father, would think that Amira was the better marriage candidate for Johan. So Ali'i slipped into the party and put the drug in May's drink while she was on her walk. May and Johan came back for her drink and she finished it. 30 minutes later, May started hallucinating and grew paranoid. What Ali'i did not know is that May had issues with her lungs growing up, which is why her foundation is to advocate and raise awareness for lung disease. May grew so paranoid that people already knew about Johan and her secret relationship and that everyone was watching her. She started having trouble breathing and died. When the autopsy of May's body was done to determine her cause of death, the drugs had already left her system, so they just assumed that it was the guilt of her and Johan's previous affair that had caused her to grow paranoid and have trouble breathing. When Ali'i found out about May's death, she grew extremely guilty as it was not her intention to kill her. She vowed to never tell anyone, even her husband Lotu. She knew that if Makai ever found out she was responsible for May's death, she would lose her son forever. The guilt eventually got so bad that it started to affect Ali'i's health, and she died at age 62. And there you have it! I know some of these were pretty big, especially the last one, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know which fact or secret was your favorite. Again, thank you all so much for 20,000 subscribers. I love you all, you're amazing. Seeing everyone's comments and talking to you guys on the Twitch streams, it honestly makes me so happy. I'm excited to continue this series, and I'm so excited for you all to see what is in store for our royals. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Please remember to be respectful to each other in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!